Okay, so the lift is a lift UK. It holds eight people, 630 kilograms of human. You've got to use a security card, uh, or your room key card on there for security to be able to access the bedroom levels. There you go, it's got a lift. So you've got a spin around there. You go in one door and you come out the other. electric in okay welcome to room 306 at the pilgrims progress hotel a hotel by jd weatherspoons a spoons hotel in bedford in bedfordshire in england there are two of us staying here for one night on a room only basis and it has cost 76 pounds 50 pence booked with booking.com Right, we'll go back to the beginning and I'll talk you through what we've got. So, this is where I've come into the room and just here we've got air conditioning, master light switch and you need to put that in for your electric. Immediately we've got two plug sockets, so a good start for charging and another one just here, even better. A full length mirror for checking yourself out. Hey up. Then we've got a bit of artwork by Alicia Marlow, age six from Shackleton Primary School. That's nice, community. Moving into the main part of the room, then we're, you can see we're in the loft, we're in the eaves. It's really nice. I like the sort of aesthetic and the feel of the internal architecture. It feels very cozy. Uh, it's a double bed. It's not a king size bed. It's not a giant bed. It's just a standard double bed. So bear that in mind. But next to the bed, we've got plug sockets on either side of the bed, two on that side, two on that side, and a bonus USB port for charging your phone. So that is ka-ching, thumbs up. Very, very good. There's a storage unit on either side of the bed also, and a bit of a weird wallpaper going on just there, but it is genuine. It's not like just a neglected wall. So spinning around here, we've got the bathroom. We'll go there last. So just here is the open wardrobe thingy. And you've got about 10 coat hangers, a hairdryer for those people who wish to preen their buffons, and an iron and ironing board that never gets used. Up there are a couple of spare pillows, which is a good thing. And moving down here, we've got a little desk stroke dressing table with mirror. And beneath that, we've got hot chocolate, Belgian chocolate biscuits, milk, tea, coffee, kettle, complimentary water. Bonus. There's a telephone to reception and a little flat screen TV just here of the Samsung variety. So we are on River Street in Bedford. Just show you the geography. So we've got a room with a street view on a high floor. That's exactly what I requested. And if you can see the brick building, so behind the white building there, the brick building, that's the multi-storey car park that we've parked in. It's literally a 40 second walk to this uh, Weatherspoon's pub, so that's great. So looking back into the room, we've got towels on the bed. Yeah, I mean, do you know what? It's a nice little room. I wish the bed was a king size rather than uh, a double, but never mind. I can live with it for one night. But I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased so far. So let's move on and have a look in the bathroom. So the bathroom has got this sort of wooden effect, like a distressed wooden effect. It looks quite smart though. It's nice. It's a new. The refurbished bathroom you can tell with a wet room style floor uh, there's a small towel rail just there small toilet quite low down just there sink next to it and two toilet rolls a uh, hand wash bin and a little storage area up here oh and a spare toilet roll as well we'll call that one a souvenir so let's uh, have a look here this is the shower so it's a well-designed shower because the taps are over there so you can turn the taps on and get it to the temperature you require before committing yourself to the drenching uh, which is good and more shower gel just there so wet room style 
and a non-slip bath mat because that probably does get quite slick. I'm going to say it, I'm quite impressed with what I've seen. For what I've paid, I'm quite happy with it. I'll do some more filming around the weather spoons. I mean, there's not an awful lot. There's a corridor, there's a lift. I might get a surreptitious reception shot. Uh, and there's a pub downstairs, but that's about it. So, catch you later, kids. The film that you've just watched is a Moss Travel Media production and you can find more like them by going to www.mosstravel.tv Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel and watching my film, it's hugely appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by going to youtube.com forward slash Stuart Moss Hit the red subscribe button, when you've done that a little bell will appear, if you hit the bell then you'll also get notifications about any future travel films which I upload. If you like my travel films then you might also like my second channel which is about home and garden. Uh, please uh, have a look for that channel, you'll find it at www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk and if you like what you see please give that a subscribe also. If you'd like to connect with me as Moss Travel Media on other social media then you'll find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Moss Travel, that's the page. And if you'd like to connect with the profile, then the profile is Moss Travelog. If you'd like to connect with me on Instagram to see my travel photography, where I'm up to, what stories I'm telling, then go to instagram.com forward slash stewmoss or do a search for user stewmoss. If you'd like to connect on Twitter, I'm at Moss Travel TV. On Pinterest, I'm Moss Travel Media, which is pinterest.co.uk forward slash Moss Travel TV. On Tumblr, I'm stuartmoss.tumblr.com or just do a search for Moss Travel Tumblr. On WordPress, I'm wordpress.com forward slash view forward slash Moss Travel TV dot wordpress.com or do a search for Moss Travel Media on WordPress. And on vcontactor, you can find me by going to vk.com forward slash Moss Travel Media or doing a search for Stuart Moss. If you'd like to contact me about film usage or any other issue, please just email me on mosstraveltv at gmail.com. And once again, thank you for watching and for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. I wish you all the best of days, happy travels and bon voyage.